Yeah, the Supreme Court briefly has restored the broad availability of the abortion pill. A temporary stay on the appeals court ruling is meant to preserve the status quo while the justices study the case, and it did not forecast how they would ultimately rule. This case is fucking bananas, okay? I don't know what is going on internally within the Republican Party because they're just, like, capitulating to some of the most unhinged, psychotic, ultra-Christian, ultra-nationalist fundamentalists within their base. This is going to further radicalize people across the board, okay? The idea that you would ban Mifepristone using the Comstock Act, uh, Act, like, because it's a matter of indecency, is insane, okay? It also would set the precedent that any medication that people find indecent would be, you know, pulled off the market for any particular reason. The drug has been FDA approved since the year 2000. Yeah, it's also beyond, uh, I think, the statute of limitation for things of that nature. Um, but uh, Justice Samuel A. Alito Jr. issued a temporary stay on Friday, ensuring that the common abortion pill would remain widely available while the Supreme Court decides whether to grant a formal stay. The interim stay will expire at midnight on uh, Wednesday. Such a stay is meant to preserve the status quo while the justices study the briefs and lower court rulings. Notice how, yeah, I was about to say, notice how no one ever talks about Viagra, by the way, which is like used for only one thing and one thing only. Whereas, you know, birth control is utilized for hormone regulation or, or well, this isn't birth control. We're talking about mifepristone, but like, you know, mifepristone, you can make an argument is for medical necessity when you need to have a medically induced abortion in instances where there is a stillbirth, um, Viagra is actually used for pulmonary hypertension. I work in a pulmonary ICU. There's nothing else that they could use for pulmonary uh, hypertension. It's just Viagra, really? I thought Viagra was the secondary uh, component. It started off as a blood pressure medication, and then it turned into uh, a dick pill because they found out that that was like the actual, di uh, you know. Viagra was originally supposed to be for the heart. Later, they found out it made your dick heart. Yeah, no, that's, I know. Yeah. Couldn't you argue that Viagra can be useful for rape or should be banned for that? I mean, you could just say that it, it's useful for people to have sex outside of marriage, right? Um, you're talking about minoxidil. That's for BP. No, minoxidil is uh, uh, prostate. They'd ban Viagra too if they could. Fuck no, they wouldn't. You want to know why? Because these old dipshits are the ones who use the Viagra. If you think for even a brief moment that they would literally go after Viagra, you are delusional, brother. I'm sorry. Welcome to the fucking real world where that will certainly not happen. Okay? Um, speaking of the real world, it's, it's the same. It's the Veep joke, right? If men could get pregnant, you'd get an abortion at an ATM, which, of course, uh, Stephen Hawking made the mistake of fucking saying, ironically, and now everyone's yelling at him because everyone's fucking stupid on the timeline. I, I hate that, like, this is the most significant thing that people want to fucking talk about. Or was it Stephen Hawking? Or no, it wasn't Stephen Hawking. It was Stephen King. Stephen Hawking is dead. Uh, what am I saying? It has been said before, but it bears repeating, if men could get pregnant, abortion would be a sacrament. That's what he said. And I saw people go, you're fucking, uh, you know, you're, you're transphobic for saying this because men can get abortions, which is like, like, you're missing the fucking point here, okay? Some of these old creeps have banned it because they were rich enough to still get it. No, they would not do it. I'm telling you, they would not. That's just libs being libs, Lamont. I know, it's so dumb. Like, the intention of this statement isn't to say that, like, the 17 uh, trans men who uh, b are able to get pregnant and uh, want to get pregnant is, is, like, being fucking erased out of existence, okay? If this is, like, your... If this is the, the pinnacle of your, uh, you know, trans advocacy, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I'm sorry. Like, anyway. Like, it, it, also, the 17 trans men who literally have to get off testosterone, too, to be able to do that. Anyway, I feel like the number is closer to two Lamau. Um, this is a good point, and it, it's, a, it's almost a played out point, but, you know, it's true. It is, it is accurate, and the same goes for fucking Viagra. Uh... And the same goes for the same is the proof of why Viagra will never be uh, regulated in a similar way. Um, and it's also uh, the, the, the same principle behind why there's even a conversation around banning mifepristone.
Florida is the latest state to approve severe restrictions on abortion access. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill to establish a six-week limit on abortions if the state's current 15-week law is upheld in court. Meanwhile, the Biden administration wants the Supreme Court to get involved in a legal challenge to a commonly used abortion pill. Nancy Cordes is at the Supreme Court with more. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Dana. Yes, Florida is a great example of how quickly and dramatically state laws are changing in the wake of the Supreme Court's decision last year to overturn Roe v. Wade. Women in Florida, the nation's third most populous state, will now only be able to get abortions within the first six weeks after conception, a point at which many women still don't even know they're pregnant. Our choice! Amid protests in Tallahassee, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a six-week abortion ban late Thursday night. It's called the Heartbeat Protection Act. We have the opportunity to save lives. We are creating a death sentence for women. Florida now joins the ranks of a dozen Republican-led states that have enacted near-total bans on abortion in the 10 months since the Supreme Court undid nearly 50 years of federal protections. And GOP lawmakers aren't stopping there. In Texas, Republicans are pushing to block websites that provide information about abortions. Just this month, Idaho made it a felony to help a minor get an abortion out of state. Women should have the freedom to make decisions over their own bodies. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, these guys love free speech. Remember, they love free speech. They love limited government. They love small government. Oh, wait, they don't. They fucking literally love the opposite, okay? Now, several Democrat-led states are stockpiling abortion medication, the latest front in this fight. Last year, the attacks were on abortion procedures. This year, medication abortion. What's next? Contraception? Birth control? All eyes are now back on yeah. the Supreme Court yeah. after a conservative federal appeals court panel imposed new restrictions Wednesday on access to the abortion drug Mifepristone, blocking mail delivery of the pill, shrinking the window in which women can take the medication from 10 weeks down to seven and requiring in. Yeah, this shit was crazy, too. Like they also the federal appears, uh, appeals court literally was like, Oh, yeah, we're going to defend it by literally still further limiting it. It's like, why the fuck are you doing that? It's, it's so absolutely, unimaginably, insanely cruel for no fucking reason. I just, I hate it. I don't know. Person, doctor's visits. It's going to benefit America's women and girls across this country. How is it going to? I think what you're going to have to do is just fucking literally say no. Uh, nope, doesn't matter to me. I don't give a fuck. Just, you know, break the law. Break the fucking law. Uh, if you're a blue state, you just violate it. You violate it. You you fund mechanisms to, to be able to, like, distribute it into red states. Do some crime. I mean, I think that it's it's ridiculous. What are they going to do? Have a fucking civil war over Mifepristone? Especially when, like, there is literally no support for it. And, uh, and the federal government in this circumstance would be on the side of defending Mifepristone. We know what happened last time, dude. Fuck that shit. Yeah. It's crazy. It's absolutely unimaginable, dude. It's so ridiculous. It's like a one other fucking avenue. You know what I mean? It's like one final avenue that people can utilize, and they want to limit that too. Fuck that. going to benefit them. They're going to have protections. Again, having to go and meet with a doctor beforehand to determine whether she has life-threatening complications before taking these drugs is essential. Mifepristone is used to carry out more than half of all abortions in this country. It was approved by the FDA 23 years ago. Mifepristone is one of the safest medications we have. It went through not just a normal FDA approval process, but was really held to a higher standard. Polling finds more than six in 10 Americans think abortion should be legal in all. Dude, I love, I love federalism, dude. It's awesome. It's so sick. No, it's... Yeah, no, the, the state's right bullshit is not going to work, okay? Fuck that. No rights. No rights for you, bitch. No state rights for you if this is what you're going to do with your state rights. You don't deserve it. Okay, go ahead. Fight it. Like, I mean, fight it. What, do, what are they going to do? They're going to fucking come to California? No. Suck my dick. Honestly, if Gavin Newsom genuinely wants to be president, okay, going to have to do a little bit more than just quaffing his fucking hair and having sex with every constituent's wife and mom at the same time, okay?
It's just like, he should do this. He should literally, I know that they have a no extradition treaty for other states already for like abortion crimes, abortion related crimes. Um, have boats on the coast of Florida providing abortion and abortion pills? No, not even that. No, just straight up fucking send Mifepristone into Florida. What are they going to do? Suck my dick. Let's say they try to arrest you, right? Good luck. Defend them. Or most cases, those numbers have a few Republicans, like South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace, pushing for a more moderate approach with later gestational limits and exceptions for rape and incest. I see the pulse of everyday Americans on both sides of the aisle, men and women alike, and they're not with us. They're not with the extreme far-right crazy nut jobs that want to go to these extreme places. The Justice Department has appealed these new abortion pill restrictions to the Supreme Court. But if the nine justices don't weigh in by the end of the day today, those restrictions will start to go into effect across the country tomorrow, Vlad. All right, Nancy Cordes reporting for us. Nancy, thank you.